Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 7th of December. Mike Smith, here and Alice Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news today, of course, we saw US equities pair early gains overnight close lower as the markets continue to pause following that five weeks of up move. The jobs data over the next couple of days may be influential in terms of whether markets are convinced by the concept of a soft landing. Uh, we shall see. US futures are just above neutral in the early Asian trading. This is despite Asian markets following that weak lead from Wall Street. Generally trading to the downside, the ASX has got away with it reasonably well. It's down only around about 0.3% of the Nikkei is in excess of 1% of the downside. European futures are pointing to a lower open, but the market doesn't look particularly worried. Uh, the VIX is flatlining at September support at this stage. We did see some buying coming back into the USD and saw the US dollar index move back over the 200 EMA. Uh, despite that USD strength, gold held its current price around 2020. Popper, however, didn't do likewise and dropped for the third straight day and is now trading underneath the 200 EMA, although it is slightly higher in Asia. Oil continues to look weak. Breach support pushed down through $70 and is now at June lows on the WTI contract. Bitcoin has also not done very much over the last couple of days after that surge higher. Uh, it is still near 18 month highs and uh, want to watch not only for the rest of today and tomorrow, but also how it opens to begin the week again. We've seen quite a lot of gap in on Monday in the CFD contract. We've had Australian and Chinese trade balance numbers out. Uh, Swiss jobs, European jobs and GDP and US weekly jobs, the highlights. And of course, we've got that non-farm payrolls tomorrow, which will grab market interest. Couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in the FX. We'll look at the Canadian dollar yen on the hourly chart. And you can see this level that it's trading now around 108. Looks as though it's a really significant level in terms of price action on this pair. It's tested it multiple times over the last week. And I think if we get a breach of this, we could see a downside move, maybe even down to 107. So a possible 100 pip move there should we get some selling coming into this at this stage. It looks oversold on the very short time frames, but on the four hour, it's very much not so. Uh, and so we think this may follow through, but we need to be patient and wait for a, a move down below that key level. On the ASX, Block Inc. is one that we've been talking about really for the last couple of weeks since it breached this 200 MA. We're now over $100. 103.12 this stage looks as though 120 could be the target, but the buying pressure is very much into fintech stocks today. We're seeing similar moves in zipco limited as an example trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now